Inspired by historical events and characters, this work of fiction was designed, developed, and produced by a multicultural team of various religious, faith, 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 faith. I almost got that sentence, right? Hello everybody, my name is that Joe Guy, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This is going to be the beginning of a brand new Let's Play of mine, which is mostly blind. I've played a little bit of this game on the console versions, but not very far past the very beginning. So I'm very excited to see what this game is going to do, because I love the Assassin's Creed game's premise, and I love its plot. Um, so just before we get into it, I want to mention something. Whilst the Assassin's Creed games are very, very good, uh, they can be a little bit easy, and I'd rather avoid that. So there will be several things I'll be doing during this Let's Play, and these aren't set in stone. Uh, I'm going to sort of uh, feel out as I go, find out what sort of level of difficulty is good for me. Um, I'll be doing several things throughout the game, such as I don't plan on upgrading my weapons ever to the better versions and I don't plan to ever use my assassins to call upon them to uh, kill targets. I've read a little bit about this game, I understand that uh, that makes it ridiculously easy. But anyway, uh, let's get into it and let me try to get rid of this message, hang on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, that's better. That would have just stayed forever. Right, um, let's just check my options are all hunky-dory. Yep, yep, it's the right resolution, blah, 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 blah. What the hell is multi-sampling? I don't know, but I've got everything else up to full. Hopefully this will do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. Good. Subtitles on. I want subtitles on because they speak in Italian occasionally. <laughs> okay, uh, story mode. Let's dive right in. Desmond. Uh, whilst my name is Desmond, otherwise known as Joe. Hello, I'm Joe. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I didn't. Hmm. But here I am. Yep. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally fighting against them are the assassins a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will i was born into the brotherhood a couple of weeks ago the templars found me they took me prisoner strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work it's called an animus and it's where i spent most of my time exploring the memories of my ancestors discovering entire lives locked deep inside my dna First, I revisited the life of Altair ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures, but we were just getting started. Back into another animus I went. With nicer people, though. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles and this is my story. Hi there. There's always a cool loading screen effect in Assassin's Creed. It's very good. Anyway, I'm glad that sort of covered some of the basic points of the plot. I was worried I'd have to do that myself. What the hell? Mario Auditore, let me hear. Oh, oh, I'm meant to do something. Tutorial, but yeah, come on. this earlier, maybe? Oh. Huh. Uh, Rebecca, 
What's going on? I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. Ooh. Thanks, you play. Come on, Rebecca. Whenever you're ready. Understand. Please wait. I have so many questions. Hmm. Poor Ezio. Looks like we have control. Oh, bloody. Uh, why not? Let's access the database. Um, um, it says disappearance from Florence. Oh, I just no. I have to do this there. Um, trainer's assassin. Yeah, well, that's not so bad actually. Why don't we Why don't we just delve into it? So his backstory. Um. Well, this experience has been quite the education. Although there's nothing in the history books following Ezio's disappearance from Florence as a teenager after the execution of his father and brothers, we now know that he fled with his mother Maria and sister Claudia to his uncle Mario's Tuscan villa. Trained there as an assassin, he prepared to hunt down the Templars, the men behind the execution, and hunt them he did, killing them one by one until he reached their leader, Rodrigo Borgia, or Pope Alexander VI if you want to get all technical about it. Um, that is part of the plot, that's not some non-contemporary jibe at the Pope Alexander the Sixth. With the help of his uncle and the other assassins, he discovered Rodrigo's plan to open an ancient vault beneath the Vatican, supposedly leading to God himself. I did re defeat Rodrigo, entered the vault alone, and came with a projection of Minerva, a member of an ancient race that exists above humans. Now, Minerva talked through Ezio knowing that Desmond was looking, using the Animus, into his memory. So that was really interesting and a really nice end to Assassin's Creed 2, if a little bit cliffhangery. And Minerva talked about was basically the end of the world. Um, and Lucy theorized that could be the geomagnetic uh, reversal of the poles. I don't want to get too into that too much, but uh, it was all very mysterious and very cool, and I'm just going to run about now. Oh, no. Oh. Right. Oh, check out. I got all my stuff up there. So Eagle Vision. Oh, hold. There. That allows me to identify things. Fast walk. Space. Oh. Our Rodrigo's gone. We did leave him out here. For some reason, we decided not to kill him. It's not that kind of your job, Ezio? Yeah, he left this. Oh, I can't get it. Oh. Whoa. Where's that going? Oh, down I go. Oh, I remember this bit. Mario. Better in the hands of the earth than in the hands of man. Meh. Uncle. What can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. <laughs> Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. The, the lift just lowered so I can get a bit of tutorial on how to climb. Um. E. Oh. If I must. You're just uh, here, aren't you? Hold it and space to climb. Oop, and up I go. Yeah, that's 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 quite intuitive. Same with the console version. I think the console. Uh, I think this type of game is kind of built for the console. If you know what I mean? Can I jump? Whoop! Great. And I really like the mouse. Just lets you look around as well. It's really weird they wouldn't do that. And up. And up. There. 
would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect sure opposition. Me. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. That's Morsi. I should mention very quickly the thing that sank to the ground there. That was a piece of Eden. One of those, one of these mysterious uh, high profile, mysterious artifacts which uh, seem to hold some sort of power over man, particularly illusionary power, I think. But uh, I'll get into that if I ever get a second to explain. Che cosa fate qui, assassini? God will see you pay for your crimes. You uh -oh. have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place. You condemn what you do not understand. We must go, mm. Ezio, now. Yep, true. Um, how do I... Uh... Okay, let's get through. Uh, shift. Nope. Move. Move. There. <laughs> That's not what I did. <laughs> I did a bit of shoving, yes. I remember that from the other game. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. It's good armor. Hmm. Just quickly, just quickly. And change my mind sensitivity just a little bit. Um, no, no. Uh, why looks just turn it up a little bit and men to seven as well flying machine I'm assuming we'll get to that <laughs> um, in general uh, no okay that's fine I'm good I'm good I'm good zoom right where am I this way A little bit better. Get some frame rate issues though. One second. Oh, are you okay? I'm ready to fight. I think. Oh, hello. What are you doing? Saving you. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Um, how do I do anything? Whoa. Thank you. Alright, I get it, I get it. Alright. Like I said, first time playing this on the PC. Woo! Somebody else attack me, please. There you go. And... Come on, come on, come on. Woo! And mine. I thought I wasn't looking, didn't you? Boom. And... And <laughs> like I said, slightly easy because of the whole chain attack thing. Oh, doing all right there, Mario. Oh, you got him, don't you? Let's just follow you closely. Yep, the sensitivity is way better. Man, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to all this. Move. Here we go. Following Mario closely. Oh, hi. Ow! Uh, uh. Oh, thanks, Mario. But please let me learn. I need to learn. <laughs> Lincoln press space to kick. Breaking enemy's defense. That makes sense. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. We're on important military business. And I'm still getting very much used to this. Okay. Oh! Mario! Okay, okay, just gonna get a right feel for this. This is quite challenging. Um, see, I, I turned down the graphic settings a bit. You can't really tell though, can you? It still looks, it looks pretty damn good. Whoop. Yep. Oh dear. Waha! Oh. Oh, I got a sword. <laughs> There. Not ideal, but uh, this seems to be working okay. Thank God for tutorial bits. Okay. Because I don't really play this sort of game um, very often, I'm linking it to MMOs like World of Warcraft, so I keep trying to hold right click and left click to move in the direction the camera faces. 
gonna take a bit of getting used to, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm assuming it's up here as well. Mario, you're lagging, friend. Why would we want to climb this? <laughs> this isn't an escape route, this is a way up. Unless you have a helicopter, Mario, this is not going to work out in our favour. Oh, I see. I see your plan. Oh, the Eden. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Piece of Eden. Artifact of immense power. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Yeah, not easy to get rid of something that powerful. You never know. Plus, throwing it in the river isn't exactly the most secure of hiding the places, is it? This is going to be fun, once I get used to it. Oh, we're shifting. <laughs> 